everybody. I'm Suzanne Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have had my YouTube channel for quite some time, but I've really decided to focus heavily on food because that's my passion. And so thank you for being here. I'm going to start out today with um, a great Thanksgiving side. And this is an acorn squash with pistachios and dates. And it has other, ingredient, other ingredients, but this is such a delicious, really kind of out of the box recipe. It's pretty and it's very, very healthy. So I do want to start out by talking a little bit about wine. There's so much rich food at Thanksgiving. And I think sometimes it's hard to pair wine with it. But one thing that goes beautifully with rich food is a really nice rosé. And if you serve a rosé and a champagne, you just can't go wrong because both of those go with nearly everything. So um, I'm gonna open this rosé and have a glass while I cook because I think that's what you should always do. And I hope you enjoy this. So I'm making an acorn squash today. And just in case you don't know what an acorn squash looks like, this is an acorn squash. It's very much like butternut squash or pumpkin, delicious. You cut it open and it has seeds inside. You take them out, of course, and you have this. And so for this dish, I cut right along the natural separations in the squash and you need a really sharp knife to do this don't try to do it with a dull knife you'll cut yourself but it's just such a pretty dish so it's very much worth doing it yourself instead of buying pre-made cubes so this is what what you get so i have probably one butternut squash on this baking sheet and i also have maybe three or four shallots that i peeled and cut in half and so what i'm going to do is just drizzle this with olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. And I keep my salt in this really great little dish. It's a, it's a handmade pottery dish and I just like to keep it um, full of salt on the stove. So I always have my salt ready. And then a good grind of black pepper. And then with my hands, I'm just gonna mix it all up, get that olive oil everywhere. And then I'm gonna put it in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until the squash is really tender. Okay, so my acorn squash has come out of the oven. It smells really good. And it's kind of um, brown on all sides. The shallots are starting to really get very tender. This is gonna be so delicious. And so I'm gonna, I did flip it once during the cooking process. So at about 12, 15 minutes, you can just turn it all over, give it a good stir. And I'm going to sprinkle all of this with some delicious ingredients. So these are Castle, Castle Vetrano olives. They are my very favorite. So these go on top about three quarters of a cup. And then I'm gonna add about three or four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna mix this all up at the end. I wanna add some lemon um, rind and orange rind, but I'm only adding just the outside peel. You don't wanna get the, the white pith. So you want it to look like this. So it's just all orange or all of the lemon. And so to do this, you take a vegetable peeler. This is my very favorite one. It's really sharp. And you just take off just the yellow part or just the orange part. And that's gonna give your, your squash a whole lot of flavor without any bitterness. So I'm gonna take just a couple of more. And then at the end, we're gonna add just a little of the grated zest for just a really great pop of flavor. So. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on the top. As you can see, this is gonna be a beautiful fall dish that's so perfect for Thanksgiving. All right, and now I'm gonna add Serrano chilies. These have a lot of spice, so if you like a lot of spice, you can put more. If you don't, you can put less. It's all gonna roast together, so they're gonna be not quite as potent. And then I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of pitted dates. And just this flavor combination is so amazing. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix this all up, put it back in the oven only for about 10 minutes, and I reduced the heat to 375 degrees, just turned it down a little bit. So put it back in the oven for 10 minutes, then we're gonna plate it up. It's gonna be so beautiful and so delicious. So my squash is out of the oven. I can't tell you how good it smells. You can smell the heat of the Serrano chilies just a little bit. So if you don't like the heat, you might wanna leave those out or, or just put less. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to put a good schmear of Greek yogurt on this platter because this is gonna be a very delicious base for the whole thing. So I just put the blobs down there and then I'm gonna just kind of spread it out on the platter. It's gonna be so good. I love to make things like this for Thanksgiving that are a little unexpected, especially for people who have like dietary restrictions because this is perfect for anybody who's gluten-free. Um, you could use, I don't know what you could use in place of the Greek yogurt, but this would be great without the Greek yogurt too. It just adds a creaminess to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my squash and olives and dates all on top of the yogurt. Shallots are just, they give it such a really great flavor. And it doesn't have to be in any kind of just let it go where it goes. It's going to be so delicious and it's so beautiful. And the, the olives combined with the dates, just that flavor of the olives with the sweetness of the dates. And so now I'm going to put um, a few roughly chopped pistachios on the top and I just use salted shell pistachios and I just chop them up really roughly, then sprinkle them over the top. Want a little crunch. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. And then I'm gonna put um, a little orange zest, just to give it that freshness. I wish you could smell this, it just smells so good and then a little chopped parsley. And just a few more serrano peppers because they're so pretty. So this is my roasted acorn squash with pistachios and dates. I'm gonna have to taste it. All right, so I have constructed a little bite here I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of yogurt to my bite. I'm gonna sprinkle some pistachios over the top. I'm so excited about this. Mmm. 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 <laughs> this is so delicious. You're gonna love it. You have to make this for Thanksgiving. The olives, the dates, the squash, the pistachios. This is the perfect fall dish. I love it. Okay, so this is my this is my thought on this dish. The flavors are all so great mingled together, but you can almost taste every flavor individually. And so you taste the orange zest, the olives, and then they just all blend together and it's the best. So guys, this is my first food video in a while. Really need some love on this. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you try it, let me know what you think. Tell me what you wanna see more of. I'm really excited about what's to come.